Don't tell Han Solo. I just need these guys for a minute to help me make a point. I just gotta do it quick while they're still alive. The more work I do on my mindset, you know, and really building an awareness of what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking what I'm thinking, why I believe what I believe, what I'm believing, and how certain things are affecting me, how I feel about what I choose to take in and observe. The more I do that, the more I'm starting to notice things that just never even came across my mind before. Here's one example. I would have been three years old when the first Star Wars movie came out, A New Hope, that was in 1977. Never even gave a second thought to the part at the end when the battle station, where all the bad guys are, it's called the Death Star, when it explodes with everybody on it. Never even crossed my mind that there were actually people caught up in that explosion. It was a jubilant moment. Everybody in the theater was cheering. Forty years later, when I was watching the more recent film, a movie called Rogue One, it did cross my mind. I thought, Man, there, there's a lot of death here. There are a lot of people getting killed. There's another entire inhabited planet that gets blown up. And these poor guys, the stormtroopers, they take it on the chin in that film. They're getting blown up, tossed through the air, kicked, punched, shot. There's even a scene when it looks like a bunch of the stormtroopers are dead, but apparently one of them isn't quite, and he, or she, starts to get up and raises their head just as the good guys are coming by, one of which looks down point blank, pay, uh, points a, a gun, and bang, shoots the stormtrooper right in the head. And the moment actually comes off as one of humor in the movie, at least according to the people that were in the theater, people laughed at that. But if you actually stop and think about that for a second, in the film The Force Awakens, which was a couple of years ago from the time that I'm recording this, one of the good guys is a character named Finn. Now the interesting thing about Finn, I think, is that he was born and raised to be a stormtrooper, one of the bad guys. But when he's thrown out into the field of battle for the first time and asked to unload his weapon on innocent people, he finds he can't do it. Just couldn't do it. A lot of those innocent people get slaughtered in that scene, by the way. So what Finn does is he helps one of the good guys escape so that he can get away and be on the good side. My point about mentioning him is that he was a stormtrooper. That whole backstory establishes that there are people underneath these helmets who are just getting killed by by the dozens, by the hundreds, by the thousands. Just out of curiosity, I tossed into Google, how many stormtroopers die in Star Wars? And I was looking for kind of an aggregate number from like the uh, New Hope onward. I didn't dig very hard. One site that I saw suggested that there were maybe 30,000 or more stormtroopers on that initial Death Star that exploded. That's a lot of death. It's not just the stormtroopers either. A lot of the good guys and girls go down. And I'm not trying to talk down on the movies. I like these movies. I love the Star Wars films, the superhero movies, the Transformers films, the Pirates films. I've just been thinking, it's a lot of death and stuff that we take our families to, isn't it? Now I can already hear people, Kevin, grow up, get a life. It's fantasy. That doesn't have any effect on us. We're sure about that? <laughs>